Talk radio host Mark Levin went on Sean Hannity's show last night to talk about the ousting of Eric Cantor. And like I was just describing to you guys, it's not that the American people want the Tea Party, okay? And it's not that Republicans necessarily want the Tea Party. It's that they want anything that's anti-establishment. So whatever can fill that void, because we hate the establishment so much, remember, not that long ago, Congress had a 9% approval rating, okay? It's that we hate the establishment so much that if anybody comes along and says, fuck the establishment, we go, okay, I gotta I got vote for you. This guy's gotta be better than the other guy. So, uh, Eric Cantor, House Majority Leader, ousted, shocking to everybody, and here comes Mark Levin to give Republicans sage advice. You look at this election in 2012 of Obama. Obama should have been beaten by a halfway competent presidential candidate in the Republican Party who could articulate the principles of the party and expose Obama's fecklessness and weakness. We didn't do it. Millions of people stayed home. And who are those millions of people? Those were Reagan Democrats. Those are blue collar Democrats. Stop chasing ethnic groups. Stop chasing genitalia. Talk to the American people. Talk about liberty, opportunity. Explain to them that Obama's wrong and that we need to unleash the American people and unleash the economy. They're already drawing the exact wrong conclusions based off of Eric Cantor uh, losing. They say, see, you got to go further to the right. That's what we have to do. That's what this election shows. And you can't worry about these ethnic groups. <laughs> They're unbelievable. They they don't even realize, in casual conversation, they're wildly offensive and douchebaggy. Ethnic groups and chasing genitalia. Really? That's how you're going to refer to women? Don't go after ethnic groups, those blacks, the blacks and the Hispanics. And don't chase genitalia. Don't try to get the female vote. Well, gee, I wonder why they're not voting for you and they're not going to vote for you. Because you don't respect them, you don't appreciate them, you don't, you don't view minority communities and women as human beings that have beliefs and opinions and policy ideas. You view them as like this, this nuisance. Like, ah, get off my lawn! Not just the kids, but get off my lawn, colored folk! Get off my lawn, genitalia ladies! What a loser. <laughs> Now, uh, let me explain to you, using numbers, why he's exactly incorrect. The idea that, well, you just need to get more of the white guys. Okay, well, looking at the data from the 2012 election, Obama got 60% of the young vote, so pfft, you already need definitely to get more of the young vote. You need to reach out. Whether, whether or not you think that's the answer is irrelevant. You need to do it in order to win, okay? 93% of the black vote, you're going to have to reach out. 71% of the Hispanic vote, 73% of the Asian vote, and 55% of the female vote. So the Democrats destroyed you in everything but old white men. Or actually just, I think, white people in general. So if you don't reach out to ethnic groups and genitalia women demons then you're done, man. You're donezo. You know, <laughs> you'll, you'll become like the Whigs. The Republicans will become like the Whig party in the United States. Uh, so, I should also mention there were 100 articles released within, uh, within the week uh, of the election. So when Romney lost directly after that, a bunch of articles were out there detailing how Romney actually got a historic percentage of the white male vote of the white vote period, actually. He got more of the white vote than even McCain did. So even the first uh, election where Obama won. He got 59% of white people in the country. Even uh, liberal states, Romney won the white vote. So the idea that you just need to reach out more to white uh, people and white males and forget about the genitalia, vaginas, and ethnic people, colored folk. You just don't get it, Dippity.